Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Oh, we're very excited. We are having an unbreakable spirit walk for osteogenesis imperfecta, which is brittle bone disease. We want to raise awareness and we want to raise funds for research and for the information and services we provide to families. Osteogenesis imperfecta is something people are born with and they live with it their entire lives. Um, the collagen that makes up their bones is of poor quality, so it breaks easily like chalk or like some forms of cement. They usually suspect they have it because there might be broken bones at birth or there might, there might be um, blue sclera in the eyes, that sort of thing, and it's confirmed through a genetic test. OI can be relatively mild, and may, but that means someone may break a couple dozen bones in their lifetime. It can also be very severe. Some people with OI are very short of stature. They may uh, use wheelchairs because they cannot support their own weight. Um, they may have hundreds and hundreds of fractures during their lifetime. And I've only broken one bone in my life and it was painful. And so every time you break a bone, it's very painful. I have a mild form and so does my daughter. And it really uh, is great to attend these events because it promotes awareness and brings people who have OI together. People who have a severe form know right away that they have you know, OI. Sometimes you don't know until you get tested. I think I could have cut my fracture rate in half if I listened to my doctors and stuff. I, I tried playing football, I tried playing sports. I had fun, but I, I had my injuries. But you know what? You, you have to live your life. There currently isn't a cure and there's very minimal treatments available. I am actually the only person in my family that has it. Actually, my entire family, nobody in my family has broken a bone. I've broken 92. I have more than enough to share with them, but they haven't broken any. Um, my mom and my dad went to a geneticist years ago and they traced it back to ancestors as early as 1902 and were never able to find it. You know, my philosophy kind of growing up was play and break, you know fall off the swing, you just go to the emergency room, and it became my sort of everyday kind of routine. You get used to it, you adapt to your environment, you know? This was my thing, I wasn't gonna stop playing, you know, so I just knew that I would play on the swing, I'd probably break an ankle, go home, tell mom I broke my ankle, we'd go to the emergency room, I'd get a really cool colored cast, and then, you know, we'd move on. I never knew about OI before until my niece was born. She was born with 17 fractures, and, um, and she inspired me to do this walk to try to raise as much funds as we can for it. It's a very rare uh, genetic disease and not that many people have it. So it's very, you know, it's hard to see someone suffer so much. We're uh, a tight-knit family. We just got stronger and we all pulled together and anything that we can do to help Sophia, we're there for her. We're and just one big family, absolutely. absolutely. Well, we found out in the hospital when Sophia was born. We didn't know prior to birth. Um, once she was born, she went down, um, x-rays were taken and Immediately they knew something was up and they, they narrowed it down to OI and we were told and all you could really do is sit back and think about what's next and how you're going to handle every situation and the OI Foundation really helped us out with that. So that's why we think it's important to try to hold a fundraiser to give back to that because they've helped us tremendously so we'd like to help in return. When she was first born we went down to the NICU uh, to see her and they wrapped her like a little mummy. <laughs> in all ACE bandages, because they weren't sure exactly how to handle her. Even right. doctors, um, they haven't seen it in years, her case. So we held her on a little sheepskin blanket, and then after about a month, we were able to hold her. It's just everything is gentle, and it takes a lot more time changing diapers, but got a little easier now. We always think that she will walk one day. We don't know when, um, but a lot of hard work and some bone medication, and maybe one day down the road, she might be able to. But she just started to go on her belly, so that's a, yeah, that's a big big thing for us. She started scooting, so we take it one day at a time. And she started to hit a lot of milestones that we didn't expect her to hit, and she just hit them later, that's all. Right. So, so the walking milestone, most children may be at a certain age. For her, it may be just a little bit later. So we're, we're still hoping, and we're, we'll take it as it comes. Well, we just enrolled her in preschool. Uh, it's a very stressful situation, but she does have a nurse, a one-on-one -on -one nurse, so that no children could really 
uh, handle her too much, but we want to talk to kids, right, and play yeah. with them. So she gets that interaction that she really needs and socialization. Um, just everyone has to be really gentle. This is the NYIT women's soccer team, and we're here to support um, people with OI. We're here to walk for them. So you'll see we have baseball players here, softball players, basketball, so our whole athletic team came up to support this foundation. We support and we admire the things that they accomplish and the struggles they have to face and overcoming those struggles and doing whatever they have to do. This is Armani. This is our new addition to the family. And he's two months old. And he was diagnosed with OI, but at the point he was born, not during my pregnancy. He was born with two fractures um, in the first month, five all together. He's been almost two months fracture free. And um, we don't know what type he is yet. We will determine that at the end of this month. When he was born, we had no clue of what it was. So it was very difficult. Um, but slowly, we're, we're learning and we're dealing with it. And All right. he's our blessing. You know, we wouldn't change it for the world. I have OI type three. And I actually graduated from NYIT in May. And so it was very close to home. So I just came out to support everyone and to meet people with my disability. Well, actually, I've never um, met anyone else with OI, so today's my, my first time. OI doesn't run in my family. It's um, a genetic mutation, so it just occurs spontaneously. It happens in um, about 25% of OI. Yeah, I do have like asthma, and um, actually have a permanently dislocated wrist because my tendons are worn out, but I mean, it just happens. Oh, well, thank awesome. you very much. Thank Thanks you. everyone for coming too. Thank you.